All right, guys, we're here uh, at Robert's home. We are down in the basement. Uh, unfinished flooring. You're not going to have to worry about covering any of this concrete floors. Walk-out basement right over there. Uh, this unit uh, is a uh, Lennox unit. Um, I've got all the information uh, from the HRI form showing we're going to need to do a um, what they call D-width, which on these air handlers is 26 and a half inches wide. Uh, unit overall will be 53 inches tall. Uh, the current setup, that air handler is 23 inches wide. Um, so we're going to basically lose um, some space there on the left hand side. Uh, there's four and a half inches between the return and the side of the air handler. We'll eat up three of that and we're going to have to move uh, the return to the left. There's about seven inches to play with up at top. Um, follow the checklist on that. I may have to prefab a bump out on the return drop. Um, just, just follow what's on there. Uh, this unit actually we'd like to turn around. Currently it's facing the water heater. As you can see here, this is all going to be sort of a utility space. So I think it would make probably the most sense, especially since line sets running out that way, panels over that way, uh, just to turn the unit. So now it's facing, facing this way. And then you've got your line set and wiring all right here for service. Uh, we'll prefab new box. That'll be 24 inches tall. Uh, we'll do the 1210 April layer box. Um, plenum is going to be a little tight. You're probably going to be left with about four inches to play with that return. Excuse me, that supply side is 20 inches wide. Uh, return side is 24 inches wide. Um, drains right in front of the unit. And then panel, as I mentioned, is behind me. With a line set falling out over there as well. Should be pretty straightforward. Uh, anything I missed will be uh, will be down in the comment section.